Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about mid and high frequency budgets. 5K, 10K, 20K, we see budgets like this. This is the range from low to high that we really see. So let's see how we would distribute that. Middle and high frequency energy above 100 cycles. Let's use that as our definition. Two treatment types, absorption and diffusion. It's all about reflection management. Ray energy, not wave. Wave is low frequency. People mistake those all the time. Wave and ray. Think of waves as ocean waves, rays as sunshine. So we got to manage these reflections off our surface areas because the materials the surfaces are made out of contribute a lot to the reverberation times in the room and the time signature of the reflection itself. So we always say, you know, sound takes on the characteristics of the surface areas that it strikes. Well, this is one of those characteristics that we, we talk about. Reverb, how long the sound stays around in a room after it's been sung, spoken, or played. We're all familiar with that. In two-channel and theater situations, and in, even in pro mixing, it's the balance of direct versus reflected energy. Remember, we've got that direct energy from our speaker, which is what we want, but unfortunately, we get reflections from all the other surfaces. So with a 5K budget, let's look at that two-channel. We're going to definitely do the sidewalls and the front wall, because those three surface areas are the most critical. Front wall, obviously, most critical for low frequency management, but the side walls for, and the front wall for middle and high frequency management. Those three surface areas are critical. So if you're on a, a more restrictive budget, 5K, those are the areas that you want to focus on first. Theater, center channel focus, it's all about reflection management. So you're going to need the front wall and the side walls too for theater. And ceiling would be a good start there. 10K, we get to do all four walls, okay? Remember, we have three sound fields in a room. Floor to ceiling, front wall, rear wall, side wall, side wall. So we got a lot of surface areas that we have to treat. Now, there's great starting points. If you don't have budget to do the whole project, we get it. You can stage it in and we'll give you a hierarchy of importance. That's what we're trying to do here. So with a 20K budget, you get diffusion. You can work diffusion into, into small rooms. So in a two channel room, Front wall and the rear wall. That's the best surface areas for that because it'll make the room sound larger. But got to have a lot of issues resolved first before you use diffusion. I see constantly people thinking about or using diffusion when they don't have the room prepped properly. Reverb times balanced. Attacking decay rates, you know, decaying logarithmically. There's a whole series of things. Modal structure management. There's a whole series of prerequisites that you have to put in the room before diffusion is introduced. Home theater, we like ceiling and rear wall, huge. You can go into uh, the project page and look at uh, the latest video that we did, Music Environment. I think it's probably number one on the project page. Look at the impact of uh, diffusion on the rear ceiling, or on the ceiling there. Two products we have, foam ladder, very, very popular. That's just our foam technology with the wood frame around it. Foam panels get a little fancier, you put fabric on it. Obviously more expensive. Fabric's expensive. You have to use a specific kind of fabric that has proper air permeability. Let's the air through, enough air through, that the units can perform properly. Because we know that they work on airflow, right? Foam panels with fabric. Then we got the DIY. You can build all of our stuff yourself. Save the labor costs. So there's a way to take a 5K budget DIY and turn it into 10K with, with labor savings. Because you're going to do it yourself. Rate and level, most important thing in absorption technology, whether it's low frequency, middle frequency, or high frequency. How low does it go? How much does it get? Those are the two variables that you have to do, and you want a nice, smooth transition. Look at our foam curves. You can see here in the graphic, very smooth, and that's what you need. That 125 to 500 hertz, it's very important for reverberation because that's a big center uh, frequency range for reverb. So you need to, to focus completely on that area and have a nice smooth transition. So mids, highs, budget, 5K, 10K, 20K, combination of maybe doing DIY and staging it and treating some surface areas depending on usage first. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. 
There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.